Alright guys, so I'm just really quickly going to show you how you can use M Creator and um, apply better combat animations to your custom weapons because I was trying to figure this out and I asked the dev discord and like nobody really knew how to do it, um, but I did figure out a solution. So unfortunately, you are no, you're not able to um, have better combat be compatible with M Creator to do it in m creator itself um the reason for this is because yes better combat does work and yes uh for better combat to work you need two other mods cloth config and player animator cloth config doesn't have any issues but the current version of player animator doesn't work in m creator and the plugin for m creator that has player animator is out of date so if you're going to make mods for 1.20 plus you're not going to be able to use better combat in m creator but I have figured out a somewhat of a workaround. Um, it does add a couple extra steps to testing your animations, but not that big of a deal. And this is going to be a tutorial on showing you how to use the Better Combat preset animations. The same logic is going to apply to custom animations. Um, the only thing we're not going to be doing here is I'm not going to be showing you how to create custom animations. But if you want to learn how to create custom animations, you can go to Blockbench and download Blockbench. That's a very good custom animation maker for Minecraft. Um, but once you have that made, this is going to apply the same way. So first, um, this is a project that I'm working on with one of my friends. So we're just going to go to this weapon that I'm making. It is a diamond dual glaive, and um, I'll pull up the resource for it right here. So this is what it looks like. Pretty standard weapon. Um, now, the problem is when I go to test it here um, really quick while that's loading, I can show you the JSON code. Um, so up here is what is the default JSON code is. And then this right here is actually extra code I've added to make the scale bigger. Um, I'll paste this in the description if you want to like change the size and scale of your weapon on the ground in hand in first person, etc. Um, you're going to have to do this and just kind of mess around with it until you get it how you want. Um, but anyways, I'm going to show you what it looks like in Minecraft when you do it this way, if you boot it through M Creator. So as you can see, we have our um, Diamond Glaive, which there's another weapon that I'm working on too. But there's our Diamond Dual Glaive. Now the thing is, is functions like a regular weapon. So if I come over here, you know, functions as a regular weapon, but we don't want that. We want it to function like a better combat weapon. So here's how you can do that. So first, of course, you need to have your weapon. The recipe is optional, but of course, if you want this obtainable in survival, you're going to need the recipe made. Um, but we have our, you know, it's fully made and it's ready. So how do we apply animations to it? So first, you're going to want to go into your workspace file browser. And if you do not have this and it looks like this, um, there's just a little bar right here. You can just drag it out to however far you want to drag it out to. I usually keep it about right here. So you're going to want to go under um, resources and then data. And then this is going to be whatever your uh, project title is. So for ours is Sussy because he, my friend made it. Um, so you go under there, and then you're going to have advancements, loot tables, recipes, um, maybe some other ones, but what you probably won't have is weapon attributes. So you're going to want to right, you're going to want to select your ID folder, your title folder, right click and add a new folder, and you're going to name it weapon underscore attributes. Then once you open that up, you're not going to have anything in it, of course, but you're going to make a JSON file. Now, what do you need to name the JSON file? Well, if we open, if we go to our diamond dual tool, our diamond dual glaive tool, and we open the mod element in the code editor, and we go to the JSON, you'll see that it has the name diamond underscore dual underscore glaive dot JSON. So when you make the JSON here in weapon attributes, you click JSON file, and you want to type the same thing that you see here. So diamond underscore underscore dual underscore glaive. And then the JSON, you don't have to put the .json. You'll click OK. I'm not going to do that because I already have it. But once you have that, it's going to pull this up. Now, you're not going to have, it's going to look like this. And the reason it looks like this is because you just created it.
So if you want to apply the better combat of animation attributes to this weapon, what you need to do is you need to take this. I'm also going to have this in the description. And you're going to want to paste it into here. Now what this essentially does is it's a weapon attribute. And since it has the same name as the tools JSON file, they're going to link together automatically because M Creator is smart like that. And those are automatically going to tie together. And what that means is that this is the data for the animation. And then this is the tied animation parent. And what that just means is parent just means preset. And you're going to want to, it's better combat is the mod. Now, it's not going to work when you boot it up in M Creator because there's about not better combat installed. But when we export it and run it in CurseForge with better combat installed, it's going to work. Now, what you're going to want to put here is you're going to want to put whatever list or whatever weapon preset animation one you want to use or whatever your custom animations file is called. And I'm going to pull up the weapon animation list right here. So these are all the different ones you can do. Um, so, you know, all these. So we've got Glaive. So all you do is just you find the one you want. Say you're making a katana, you'll put katana. Or if you're making a rapier, you'll put rapier, etc. You put that right there and uh, make sure you control S to save it. And it's not going to do anything when you run it through M Creator. So how do we actually get it to work? And so we can see what our animations look like. So this is the part that kind of sucks. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to come up here to the export mod button. You're going to have to export the mod. And then um, you can donate if you want, because this is a great resource. And I definitely recommend supporting the devs. But um, we're going to export without donating. And it's going to ask for a file name. Um, so I'm not going to do that. But it's gonna, you're going to put whatever you want the mod to be called. And then it's going to be a jar file. You're going to put that wherever you want. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it. Then, if you don't have it already, you're going to need to get CurseForge, and you're going to need to create a, crust, a custom profile with the most recent Forge version, and then whatever game version you're modding in. So I'm modding in 1.20.1, .1, so I'm going to be using Minecraft version 1.20.1. .1. Now, what you're also going to need to do is you are going to need to put in better combat, cloth config, and player animator for this version of the game which are these three versions right here. You can see them right here. So you can go and find those, put them in here, and um, that's going to be good. Then once you actually have this mod exported, your custom mod, which I apparently do need to export, we'll just export it to the desktop. We're going to title it Moat because that's the abbreviation for the actual mod, mod name that we came up with. We're going to go to Open Folder. And we're going to grab that jar mod, and we're going to paste it. We're going to go to the mods folder. And, oh, well, it's already here, but I'm going to paste it because there's been some updates. So now that's in there. And it's not going to show on here, but it's there. Then all you have to do is just run the mod pack through CurseForge. It's going to boot up the Minecraft launcher. And then you're going to click play, and you're going to wait on it to open. And once it's open, um, now that better combat is actually installed and working properly, it's going to actually pull and use the JSON data from your weapon attributes folder onto your custom weapons. You will have to make a new JSON in the weapon attributes for every weapon. Um... But it's not really that hard because it's kind of, you know, it's the same. It's three lines of code. You can just copy and paste it into all of them and then change whatever the tag is. Um, so as you can see now, we're holding it. And it's functioning as the Glaive preset from Better Combat. And then same for this one. This is preset to the Hammer preset. And we also... Have that applied to the netherite version. And our new tier of weapons, the dragon version. So yeah, that's pretty much all you have to really do. Um, it kind of sucks that you can't implement better combat directly in MC Creator. I really hope that there is a solution for that soon. 
But as of right now, that's the way you do it. And uh, I hope you found this video useful. I know I kind of talked a lot, um, but I hope it found I hope you found it useful. And uh, maybe I'll make some more videos on this because I'm really enjoying what we're doing here with this. And also just short little tutorials because it doesn't really seem that there's a lot of resources available for this tutorial wise. I mean, I found one YouTube channel that posts tutorials for this, um, but some of them are outdated or older. Um, and the Discord server is not that big of a help, honestly. And the, the website forums are probably your best bet, but still there's not a whole, whole amount of resources. Um, so I might make some more videos, but yeah, I hope you guys found this useful and I'll see you later.